Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're learning more about the prostitution and human trafficking arrests in Lafayette. Nine people were arrested after five massage parlors were raided in the city of Lafayette. Deputies also tell us they seized $50,000, which they believe are proceeds from the illegal activity. The sheriff's office also saying there are out of state ties in this investigation. Three's on the street, Danielle Garcia live outside one of the massage parlors deputies say is involved. Danielle. Marcel Jim complains from numerous people led investigators to five massage parlors like this one using their locations for prostitution and human trafficking. Lafayette Sheriff Mark Garber says they even secretly advertise their illegal services online. You know, when it first came up, um, it was simply like a nuisance uh, type quality of life uh, type issue. But after a year and a half, investigators uncovered a much more complex issue. You, you have women who are being exploited uh, in the flesh trade. Uh, that's something, you know, we, we know that it happens uh, worldwide. We know that it happens in the United States. People don't like to talk about it. It's unpleasant, but we know that it goes on. Uh, and all we can do is control what happens here in our community. Some of the spas are in busy strip malls, while others were in secluded areas of the city. This massage parlor called Golden Spa is one of those businesses. KTC investigates found it had similar troubles in 2014, operating under a different name, and once again in 2015. Well, it's, it's not primarily what we do day to day, as you know. Uh, the, the main course of interest here was to respond to the business owners who've, who've justifiably reported that this has been growing and growing and growing the last couple of years. And, uh, you know, and I, and I could see it. I, I could see it myself. Um, and the, the human trafficking is, is, is at the crux of it. Nine people were arrested for pandering and prostitution charges. One of them also charged with human trafficking. Garber says one woman they questioned confided in them, saying she was being held here against her will and forced into prostitution. Um, you you got to understand that, you know, this is it's, it's very tough for women to come forward who are in a foreign country. They, they uh, you know, may not speak the language, uh, but we had uh, Homeland Security provided us with a, a Chinese translator last night uh, for us to communicate with these women. And it's still got to be extremely difficult for them to come forward. But uh, one did. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if some more uh, came forward. And Sheriff Garber is also thanking Faith House, explaining that during situations like this, these organizations play a major role in getting the victims to safety. Threes on the Street, live in Lafayette, Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3.